Another creative feature of the DivX player is desktop playback. I can simply choose from the playback menu to have my movie playback right on the desktop. And uh, it sort of plays back in a full screen mode uh, underneath icons and windows and I can still interact with the DivX player as I normally would. And in addition, I can interact with other applications like the Finder as I normally would. In the meantime, the movie plays back underneath as you'd expect. Uh, since uh, you want to be able to, for example, select icons by clicking on the movie, uh, you can't necessarily interact. But should you need to, you can. To do so, just hold down the Option and Command key. When you do, you'll hear that little sound, and then that means that your mouse clicks are now directed at the movie. So, for example, we can click and use gestures, give it a little volume, perhaps. He stays. Perhaps rewind. I've tried to shed my past. And so on. And as soon as we're done interacting with the movie, just let up those keys. We hear the little sound, and we know that our mouse clicks are now directed again to the desktop, so to speak. And uh, the easiest way to exit desktop mode would be to use uh, Mac OS X's built-in command tab feature to make sure that your DivX player is in the front, and then we can just select from the playback menu to exit desktop mode.